Hello everybody, I am here with a tutorial on how to get Silent Hill 2 Enhanced Edition running on the Steam Deck. Uh, seems like a recent update has broke the old way of doing it, and it just, for me at least, it just boots into this the vanilla version of Silent Hill 2, so it's not the Enhanced Edition. Uh, I have I've had comments from other people on a comment thread a while back ago now saying that it doesn't work anymore. So I'm going to go through and fix it so everybody can enjoy this masterpiece of a game. There are timestamps down in the description if you want to skip around to sections that you might need a little more help with or something that you haven't done yet or what have you. So let's jump right in. So first off, we're going to go to Silent Hill 2 Enhanced Edition website. Um, the link to these websites I'm going to talk about are in the description below, but you just type into Google Silent Hill 2 Enhanced Edition, it'll bring you to this page right here. So we'll click enter. Uh, we'll click here on download and usage. And we're going to go scroll down a little bit under the install section. And right here, it'll say download the setup tool. So we'll click that and we'll download that. As for Silent Hill 2 game itself, you're going to want the fully extracted version for this tutorial. It's the easiest way to get it done. Uh, I don't believe I can directly link to where to get the game. So I'm just going to say Google download Silent Hill 2 for uh, PC. And it should be one of the first couple links. It'll be, I believe, my abandonware is the website. But I don't think I can link to it itself. So you'll go there and you'll it'll scroll down a little bit. It'll, you'll click download now. It'll bring up another page and you'll want the extracted version. It'll say in like parentheses, uh, best used for Silent Hill 2 Enhanced Edition, something along those lines. So once you get that downloaded, those these two things downloaded, you're going to want to come to uh, your Steam. You're going to want to add game down on the bottom left add non-steam game you're going to want to click browse i put silent hill 2 the download and the enhanced edition set up in the documents folder on my steam deck just so i have it uh, in a place that's easy to find so we're going to want to do uh, silent hill 2 enhanced edition setup.exe also make sure if it's if your silent hill 2 download is in a zip format to unzip it first put it in somewhere you can find it easily put the enhanced edition set up like next to it I'm gonna hit enhanced edition setup.exe going to select add selected program and it should be here sh2 ee setup it'll be under uncategorized by the way and then we're going to want to right click on that go to properties or if you're using the steam deck you uh, hit the left tr left trigger to do this the side menu i'm going to want to go to compatibility force use of a specific steam play compatibility tool um i believe i used 7.0-6 close i'm gonna hit play it should pop up the enhanced edition setup here so select setup language english or whatever language you want Hit OK. We're going to click Next. We're going to hit Accept the Agreement. Install Enhanced Packages Recommended. And here it'll say C Programs Konami Silent Hill 2. You're going to want to click Browse. For, for me, my Steam Deck is under Z or Z. And then where my game is in, uh, extracted at would be under Z Home deck scroll down to documents and you'll see your silent hill 2 folder or whatever whatever you named it just click on it so it's highlighted blue click ok and then we'll hit next here we want full installation recommended and then hit next and then you just hit install and it'll download the necessary files for the enhanced edition and install them to your Silent Hill 2 folder. It will take, you know, about five or so minutes, depending on your internet speed, to do everything. But once that is done, I'm, going to, I'm just going to leave this because I already have this installed and working. Okay. Once all that is done, you're going to have a window that pops up that says wine detected and to change the 
a target of the Enhanced Edition Setup EXE to your Silent Hill 2 PC EXE. Just click OK and then a little a, win, a window will pop up and you just click the little checkbox next to where it says uh, start Silent Hill 2. We just don't want to do that right now. We don't want to start Silent Hill 2 right now and then close the Enhanced Edition installer window. Back into Steam here, we're just going to go to Manage, remove non-Steam game from your library. And then we're going to go back to Add a Game, Add non-Steam game, Browse. We're going to go into our Silent Hill 2 folder and look for sh2pc.exe. We're going to double click that and it is checked. We're going to add selected program. We're going to go back to the the left hand side here. We're going to right click, go to properties. I recommend changing the name to just Silent Hill 2, Silent Hill 2 Enhanced Edition, whatever you want. Uh, and then under launch options, I'm going to put this in the description below. So copy and paste this. OK, we're going to go launch options. I'm going to paste this. It's wine DLL overrides blah, 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 command under your launch options. OK. Under compatibility, we're going to force use 7.0-6 close. I like to double check and make sure everything is still saved. So this whole launch option is still saved. Close that. And we're going to run. Silent Hill 2 PC.exe or whatever you named it. And now we have Silent Hill 2 Enhanced Edition running on the Steam Deck once again. Let's make sure everything works real quick just to be on the safe side. I'm sure it does. Yep, says so Silent Hill 2 Enhanced Edition right there. I'm going to load it into a game just to make sure. And here we go. This is the Enhanced Edition. Looks like some screen tearing on my end, but... Yep, this is the Enhanced Edition. All the controls work perfectly straight out of the box using a Steam Deck. I believe it, the same thing will work. The controls will work perfect out of the box if you're using a controller. But everything is perfect here. So, like I said, might might have some screen tearing on my end. I don't know if that's just OBS or running, you know, through desktop mode. But everything is working fantastic. The game is now running once again on the Steam Deck. I hope this tutorial helped you out. Again, the links are in the description. The Steam override section is in the description below. Copy, paste that. Everything should work out perfectly fine for you, I hope. If not, let me know in the comments down below. Please hit the like and subscribe. Helps more than you realize. And as always, my friends, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.